If you have a job that requires good Wi-Fi, then you know how frustrating it is when your Wi-Fi signal looks like this. For the last 30 days, Jay and I have been in Wahin. For whatever reason, our Wi-Fi connection in our condo was not very good. So we were always on the hunt trying to find a cafe or a restaurant that had awesome Wi-Fi. So I did try and find a list on the internet to give us some sort of direction on where to go, but the lists that I found were either outdated, the places weren't there, or maybe just over our budget. So I wanted to put this video together for you so that if you are coming to Waihin and are in need of good Wi-Fi, then you know a few places where you can go sit and work and have a comfortable spot with awesome Wi-Fi. Before we get into the list, I do want to say that there are so many cafes and restaurants in Waihin, it was impossible to go see them all in the 30 days that we were there. I do think that we did find some good ones and I hope you guys will agree. So I'm gonna be sharing with you our top five picks and if you have a sweet tooth, you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end because there's a bonus cafe that we just couldn't leave out. Let's jump right in and start with number five. The Wake Up Cafe and Bar. It's located south of Central Wahin and it gets a Google rating of 4.7 out of 52 reviews. When we were there, they didn't have the air conditioner on, which I was a little disappointed because I like to work in an air conditioned space, not an open air. Now, I'm sure if we asked them to put the air on, they would have, but they did have fans to move the air around, so it was actually quite nice. The Wi-Fi speed here was great, and I find that some cafes and working spaces just aren't equipped with proper height tables and chairs. This place was perfect. The staff was very friendly, and the menu wasn't huge, but it was decent. I had a panini and a very fancy lychee smoothie, which was awesome. Jay and I each had a plate of food and a drink, and it cost 15 Canadian dollars. The Wake Up Cafe and Bar is also a hostel, so if you're needing a place to stay, this might be the best of both worlds. I found its only downside was that the parking was limited, and the streets get very narrow at that end of Wahin, so traffic can be a little chaotic at times. Number four is Wahin Kitchen. Now this place is located in central Wahin and it gets a Google rating of 4.4 out of 328 reviews. It is a restaurant more than a cafe, but what I like about the Wahin kitchen is that there's an air conditioned space and an open air space. I like the fact that you get to choose where you want to sit. You're not forced into one or the other. As you can see, there was lots of tables and chairs to choose from. The Wi-Fi was good and lots of food choices. The food was delicious and reasonably priced. Jay ordered pad pao and I had chicken cashew nut. I also had a Fanta and Jay had a mango smoothie and it was only 10 Canadian dollars. There's lots of parking out front and the staff is very friendly. It was definitely a place you could have lunch, settle into a corner and get some work done. Number three, the row house. This place was a hip and trendy little spot. It gets a Google rating of 4.6 out of 541 reviews. It also had the option of an air-conditioned workspace or open air, and the menu here was huge. 19 pages to be exact. It had a variety of fancy beverages and great breakfast options. I ended up getting their full breakfast and a yummy lychee rose iced tea. Jay also got breakfast and a fancy iced latte. Our meal cost 16 Canadian dollars, and they have some pretty good looking desserts as well. This was the most expensive place we went to out of all five cafes. It is a hostel as well, so again, best of both worlds. There's plenty of space to park and the staff was super friendly. I think this space could get loud and congested. The first time we went, there wasn't a table available, but the second time we went, there was plenty of space. So maybe it all depends on what time you go. Number two, 25 Monday. This was a great little spot. It has a Google rating of 4.3 out of 279 reviews. It is out of town north of Central Wahin, so this might deter people from going if you don't have a scooter or a vehicle to get there. But I'm telling you, it's worth a drive. It's such a cool cafe. It's definitely a great space to get some work done. The staff are very friendly and the bathrooms were very clean. Their menu had traditional Thai foods and Western dishes. They also had a dessert counter and their brownies were only $1.15 Canadian. How could we say no? 
Jay had fish and chips and a blended iced coffee, and I got their cream of mushroom soup and a lychee rose tea smoothie. It was delicious and only 14 Canadian dollars. 25 Monday was walkable to where we were staying in Wahin, so for us, it was perfect. And coming in at number one was the Seacup Home Cafe and Restaurant. It has a Google rating of 4.3 out of 140 reviews and it's located southwest of central Wahin. We just happened to stumble upon this cafe while we're searching for a long-term condo in Wahin. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it at the end of this video so you can go check it out afterwards if you're curious about condos and what Wahin has to offer. We were pleasantly surprised by how reasonable the prices were here compared to the other cafes. The size of the menu was good and the food was delicious. We came here a few times and Jay always got the iced cappuccino frappe because it was the best one he'd had in all of Wahin. I ended up having the same dish a couple of times. It was plain rice with chicken and fresh vegetables. It was delicious. They also had the options of air conditioned workspaces and open air workspaces if that's what you prefer. Or if you just want to sit on a swing, they have one of those too. The staff were very friendly and the Wi-Fi was the fastest we'd found, so it was a perfect spot to upload videos. The Seacup Cafe for us had the whole package. Fast Wi-Fi, delicious food, great drinks, and very good prices. There was lots of parking and it was also located in a quiet little area of Wahin. Win, win. And for the bonus cafe, if you made it this far, we found the best brookie you'll ever have. You're welcome. If you're someone like me who's never heard of a brookie, your life is about to change. It is a cookie and a brownie all in one. And you can find it here at S'more Cafe. It's located just south of Central Wahin and has a Google rating of 4.6 out of 54 reviews. It's a cute, eclectic cafe specializing in s'more type desserts. They also have many other desserts to choose from if marshmallows just aren't your thing. But we couldn't resist the brookie. Honestly, all of their desserts look delicious. Even though they had great Wi-Fi and they had a long list of specialty coffees, how could you concentrate with all these delicious desserts to try? It's definitely a place you won't want to miss. So if you're coming to Wahin and are in need of a good workspace with great Wi-Fi, I hope one of these ones that are on the list will do the trick. Thanks for watching, guys.